Okay, this video is easiest time to go vegan. So right now it's uh, 2022 and um, summertime, July. A lot of people are concerned about rising gas prices. Gas prices are more than double what they used to be. Also in my 40 or so years of driving, there is more construction than ever before, keeping persons having to burn more gas, and I'm sure that's just a coincidence. More and more people are losing their jobs and going bankrupt because of arbitrary rules. And I'm sure that this has nothing to do with Stalin's imposed starvation of the Ukrainians in 1932 to 1933, where 4 million people died. That was called the Holodomor. We know that intentionally starving people is rare, just like what the British did in the 1800s to India, to Ireland, and to the Boers. But is there any bright side to this? We can look at the World War II data on rationing of meats and sweets, for example, in Norway, in Finland, and in England. And these populations, despite the psychological stress of those difficult times, had markedly reduced risk of diabetes and coronary artery disease. These observations were helpful to nutrition experts like Nathan Pritikin, um, who studied this as well as uh, he studied then the Pima and the Tatahumata, and that guided his shaping the Pritikin diet. Lester Morrison, the cardiologist, who then put his patients on low-fat diets, and they had good results. Um, Ansel Keys, who then recognized the potential benefit of, ans of the low-fat diets and began to study it in multiple populations um, throughout Europe and the rest of the world, including the United States. And Roy Swank, who saw this data of incredible improvements in health, and he also saw the Norway data on multiple sclerosis being worse in the dairy areas. All of these observations led to dramatic improvements in health for the patients who then used them as a motivation to seek the vegetarian diet. Um, rationing in other countries during World War I and at other times have had similar findings. Um, so what's a person to do? Well, it turns out that starch is the best food and starch is cheap. Uh, starch, most starch is very easy to cook. You just boil water. Um, you just boil water, cook potatoes, cook rice, cook, to cook beans, cook oatmeal, quinoa. Uh, probably the best foods in the world are potatoes and sweet potatoes. Uh, rice is up there, but the little arsenic issue, but it's still okay. We talked about it in other lectures. So more people learning to eat starch would be a good thing. If they actually starve us to death, that would be bad. 